everyone welcome to a brand new episode of our series motorcycle throttle now in this episode we review a superb machine from the yamaha stable known as the r15 we start off with the design first now at first glance the design seems to be inspired by the bigger cousins like the r6 and the r1 it seems the design was taken from the new r1 and molded into a compact form the design change is most apparent in the headlight which looks sharp cutting edge and aggressive and the tail light which feels a bit edgy in its design the bike styling is sharp all around keeping in mind the aerodynamics of the bike the vents are molded into the design to give maximum airflow to the bike As per Yamaha, the bike has racing DNA built in. If you see the bike, it is shaped like an arrow with a 45 degree tilted bike position from front to back. Now, the cowl covering the bike fits well and provides heaps of ventilation for efficient airflow. The graphics given on the bike are subtle and the naming and the badge position looks to be on point. We applaud the effort of Yamaha. to make a mini version of the R1. Now with that said, let's move on to the performance. Let us tell you that the bike has a 155 cc ES6 LCV4 SOHC FI liquid cooled engine which produces a power output of 18.6 PS at 10000 RPM and 14.1 Nm of torque at 8500 RPM. The bike has a lightweight delta box frame which helps in the handling of the motorcycle it has been fitted with a high performance vva system which provides low end torque the vva system has two intake valve cams one for low to mid range rpm and other for high rpm to ensure good power and torque throughout the entire rev range the seating position is on a 45 degree rake initially when you sit on the bike you might feel a bit uncomfortable with the seating position the switches are given or located in convenient position now as we start the motorcycle the engine feels smooth and the pickup is quite quick as we ride along the power delivery of the engine feels linear and constant due to the track based ergonomics the motorcycle clings to the surface like glue The bike feels light and nimble on the road. The handling seems to be on point. The braking supported by dual channel ABS seems on point. The assist and slip clutch given on the bike makes the gear shift smooth and swift. The motorcycle cobbles up bad roads due to a fantastic suspension system, but due to its extremely low ground clearance, it suffers a bit when riding on really bad roads. The suspension setup of the bike is really low and it's made for track riding. So, the full potential of the bike would be realized on a track. Now with the performance and ride done, let's move on to the features. The first feature we're going to talk about is the variable valve actuation VVA system which provides excellent low end torque. The two intake valve cams make it a fantastic bike to ride especially in lower rev range and assist and slipper clutch or what we call an ANS clutch is provided in the bike to reduce the weight of the clutch while you downshift this prevents excessive engine braking and makes for smooth and enjoyable downshifts the dual channel ABS is fantastic as it helps in precise braking without any wheel lockups the delta box frame with an aluminum swing arm provides excellent rigidity and balance throughout the ride the bike has is a multifunction lcd instrument cluster with gear shift indicator a dual horn system and an inbuilt side stand engine cutoff switch the bike also gets plenty of accessories to keep your ride pimp and safe overall decent amount of features and accessories provided with the motorcycle gets a thumbs up from us one thing though we miss on the motorbike is the app based connectivity which is a staple in today's market now, overall it is a budget track bike which looks superb now for everyday ride we do not recommend this motorcycle but if you end up purchasing the bike go for the racing blue color available in the bike 
can check out this option in the Yamaha website or a Yamaha showroom near you. If you are there in Noida, you can check out the bike in the showroom mentioned below. Keep watching our channel. There are more reviews coming in the future. Not till then, it's bye from us.